Hi everybody, so for today's project you're going to need an iron, bandanas, a pair of scissors, some pins, and a sewing machine. Now I had four bandana or five bandanas here but I only ended up using two. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fold my bandana in half and I have pre-ironed my bandanas so there are no wrinkles in it. I've got a template here from an old dress that I had and this is like the uh, boob part that I'm going to use for this bandana shirt. I'm just adjusting it and seeing where I want that piece placed. I had a girlfriend send me a picture of this bandana shirt that I am making and she asked if I'd be able to make something similar so I was going off the picture that um, I had looked at previously so this is just uh, me winging it so once I'm done that I will have two front pieces <clears throat> And as you can see, I'm just trying to figure out how I want this shirt to be put together. I'm going to grab another bandana and I'm just going to put those front piece off to the side. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half and then I'm going to cut in the middle. And this bandana is previously ironed as well. And once I'm done that, I'm going to fold that in half and cut down the middle again. So then I end up with four strips. Now, I didn't end up using all four of the strips. I believe I just used three of them. <clears throat> now you can see that I play around with my fabric because I want to see how I want the shirt to look like and um, here I'm just trying to figure out how I want my back, piece, back pieces to lay. So I'm just making sure that they are like evened up with the side pieces. And I cut out, well I took two of those strips and I was going to use two. Um, and I ended up wanting to use elastic for the back so then it can fit any size of body. Um, here I am just sewing my back edge here and just so it has a clean finish and won't have any fraying pieces. Once I've got that all sewn up, the next thing I'm going to do is grab my elastic and I'm just going to quickly sew that on. To um, gonna, I'm going to sew it on to the top of the back piece and the bottom of the back piece. now um, make sure that you um, sew a top like the beginning uh, a little bit just so it's tacked down and then that's when you are going to pull your elastic so then it gathers on the other side <clears throat> and yeah you're just going to continue doing that to the top part of the back and the bottom of the back part on so I didn't film myself doing the, 
the elastic part on the bottom because um, it just would have made this video too long. By the time I was done, it was already 25 minutes long, so with speeding everything up, it made the video 15 minutes long. So here it is, finished, and I'm just grabbing those two front pieces, and I am going to hem along the raw edges so it cleans everything up. So here I am just doing that, hemming the raw edges. the front of the shirt um, now if you wanted to you can iron these pieces too because it does pucker up a little bit um, I didn't end up doing that because I didn't really mind it puckering up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the back piece to the front piece and then um, take that other side of the back piece and attach the other side uh, so as you can see there I just pin it and then I'm gonna bring it to my sewing machine and zip it through and that part is finished so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side which I didn't film so once I'm done that um, make sure you cut off all of your strand like your your um, pieces of thread so this is what it should look like now your back piece is connected to half of the front piece and then what I'm doing here is attaching that other front piece and now I'm gonna be putting my material pretty side okay how do I explain this um I can't find the <laughs> I can't find the words right now but um I am doing um the right sides together and then zipping that through Ta -da! okay uh once I'm done that um, I'm just going to show you how everything looks so far. So, this is how it should look once you are done. There's our front pieces there, and we got our ties. And then here's the back piece. And the next thing to do is make the um, shoulder straps. So then it can be a halter and tie around your neck. So what I'm going to do is, for this part, I'm going to grab two more strips and I'm just going to fold them in half and sew up one side. And once I'm done that, I'm going to turn it right side out. That's what you want to make sure is you, when you're doing this part, you have the right sides together and you're sewing on the wrong side. Um, all my stitches are just a basic straight stitch, so um, it's not complicated. If you wanted, you could hand sew it or use a um, like a, a fabric glue. So here you can see that I am turning it right side out, and then I am 
once I'm done this, I'm just gonna tuck in my raw edges so they are like in flipped inside out or sorry flipped into the inside as you can see right here and then I am just going to top stitch the whole strap I'm gonna do this process to the other strap as well and yeah once you're done top stitching if you wanted to top stitch if you don't then you don't have to but I figured it made it look a lot cleaner and it made my bandanas lay flatter so once I'm done the second one I will be back look like when you are finished and you're gonna do the exact same process as you did with that one with the second strap so you should have two and what I'm gonna do here is attach it to the front part of my shirt and we are close to being done so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna put right sides together and just zip it through the sewing machine um, and then the same thing to the other side, attach the strap, right sides together, pin it, and then bring it through the sewing machine. And then I'm just going to make sure all of my strings are cut off. And that is it. It was fairly simple. Um, this was a on the spot shirt. Um, as you can see, um, it's not too difficult. Um, I didn't have like a picture to follow I had just looked at the picture uh, before I started this video so I was just going by the picture that I had in my head <clears throat> so yeah I am happy with the final outcome I was a little worried on how it was gonna turn out but I was pretty happy with it so next I'm just going to try it on for you um, if you like these bandana tutorials then please let me know and I will definitely do more um, I enjoy making them so I hope you enjoyed watching and yeah so that is it here I am trying it on Now if you like my tutorials, please give me a like and subscribe and hit that post notification button if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.